Hello, I'm Mark Baver. I'm the Technical Marketing Manager here in the UK and Ireland for Sony's Photo Channel. Now, we've managed to get our hands on the brand new 35mm f1.4 G Master lens. We're going to take a closer look at the lens in more detail, how it can perform, and a little bit about the spec as well. So, let's have a look how this lens can perform. So here it is then, it's the new FE 35mm f1.4 G Master from Sony. Now I will be testing this a little bit later in the video but I have to say it does give excellent image quality and, and the resolution is really maintained from corner to corner. To gain the centre to corner sharpness the Sony 35mm uses two XA or extreme aspherical elements uh, which gives you superb resolution. It also uses extra low dispersion glass elements which then reduces any chromatic aberration and any fringing in the corners. So it's going to give you a really clean kind of natural look which is going to obviously improve workflow when editing. It uses nano AR coating too which is applied to the whole area of the lens. So basically what this does it minimizes any internal reflections so that flare and perhaps ghosting doesn't occur in these types of lenses. So at 1.4 aperture, you're gonna get some incredible bokeh. And the way it does this, it uses 11 circular blades. On the 35 millimeter Sony Zeiss lens, uh, the length is 112 millimeters. So you can see that there is a big difference in size and of course in weight as well. So when you compare it to say the 24 millimeter f1.4, you'll see that the dis difference in size and weight is very, very similar to the 24 millimeter G Master. With the engineering at 0.01 micron, this reduces any kind of onion run effect, but also any aberrations of light entering the lens and bouncing off. So it gives you that corner to corner clarity. So we're now gonna look at the macro element of this lens and how close we can focus. So the minimum focus distance is 27 centimeters and it has a 0.23 times magnification. So I'm just about to change the AF mode to AFS and the focus mode is on one spot area. So I've taken the shot and we're gonna zoom in. I'm gonna zoom in up to around 300%. You can see here, straight out of the camera, it really is sharp. In fact, I never thought my watch was so scratched and, and damaged here uh, to the naked eye. So it's bringing up some level of detail I've not seen before. Now into third party editing software, we're gonna zoom in to around 300%. And again, to show the level of detail uh, post editing, uh, is extremely sharp indeed from this 35mm G Master lens. So we're now going to look at animal eye autofocus on the A7R Mark IV. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I've got the right autofocus area which is um, in zone and then I'm going to change human IAF to animal IAF uh, otherwise that won't work. Make sure the animal display is on and we're going to take some photographs of my cat. Now at the moment I haven't focused so I'm going to change the aperture on the aperture ring of the lens and then change the shutter accordingly and of course change the ISO and this is a what you see is what you get system mirrorless system I'm seeing what the sensor sees and as soon as I depress the shutter the eye of the cat is being found straight away and brilliantly she looks up it's found the eye it will then focus once it's green so as you can see it's given us some fantastic blurred background so the bokeh in this lens is fantastic with 11 circular blade aperture it also has two times XD linear motors which has internal focus so there's no gears and no mechanical parts so it's going to be quiet and silent especially for animals it'll give you silent shooting so we don't disturb the cat as you can see here we're playing it through third-party editing software and we're going to zoom into 300% the level of detail of the lens itself is second to none the sharpness and the clarity is superb Okay, I'm in my shed. Uh, I'm just about to take some shots of my kids. So bear with me in this because um, it's going to be really interesting. They're not going to keep still. Um, so we've set up the um, softbox, about 48 inches with a grid. 
I've got the A7R Mark IV, and I've got a trigger that's obviously going to set the softbox up. So settings, I'm going to start off at 1 60th of a second, f7.1 uh, on the 35mm G Master, and we're looking at about ISO 200. So um, bear with me with this, I don't know how it's going to go, but uh, we'll have a look. So let's cut to uh, the back of the screen to show you what it looks like from in, in the internal side. So this is the back of the A7R Mark IV, and it's a recording to a, an external monitor. So first of all, I'm going to select the file format, and normally I shoot RAW and JPEG. I normally shoot compressed as well, and this enables me to save some memory on the SD card without much detail lost. I normally turn the long exposure noise reduction and high ISO noise reduction off as well, so I get the best RAW image as I can. Then straight to make sure that we're in continuous AF to get the best eye autofocus. And I'm going to change the AF tracking sensitivity to be really, really responsive at level 5. And because I was shooting animal eye autofocus earlier, I need to make sure that it's now on human. Otherwise, um, my kids' faces won't be picked up. So back in the shed, this is my son. And we're going to take some images of his face, his portrait through the back of the camera again. So this is a recording on the back of the camera in portrait mode. You can see it's picking up his eye incredibly fast. Face detection, as he's looking left and right, it's really, really fast, this lens. So zooming into the back of the camera, this is in camera now, just to see how sharp it is. And look at this. It is absolutely pin sharp. I've not seen sharpness like this since I last used the 135 millimeter. It is pin sharp. So we're having a bit more fun now with my daughter. Now we're going to set it down on the chair. Again, this is the back of the camera. And it picks up her face really, really quickly again. We're going to change the autofocus area and we're going to change it to zone. So I'm bringing the autofocus points into the center of the screen uh, or the center of the sensor. And again, you can see it's picking up my daughter's face really, really quickly. And there, I take the shot. As she's moving and she's moving her eyes around, it's really focusing on her face and eye instantly. Very, very fast indeed. So we're gonna look at the image inside the camera now. So I'm gonna find an image uh, that will show her eyes, obviously not these ones. There we go, so let's have a look at this one here. And again, zoom in. I think this is around 300% in camera. The level of detail, the level of sharpness is incredible. It really is very, very impressive. So we're going to run it through some third-party software, some editing software, just to see if we can get um, even closer and have a look at the detail. And we're going to zoom in, so around 100%. And then we're going to go a bit further, 200 and then 300%. And you can see it's an amazingly sharp G Master lens. So that's the brand new 35mm f1.4 G Master lens from Sony. It's incredibly sharp, it's precise and gives fantastic clarity. It's got great bokeh, so the background defocus is superb. It's ideal for portrait, landscape, and I highly recommend it for both stills and video.